What is jaundice? Jaundice is a medical condition that manifests as a yellow discoloration of the skin, mucous membranes, and the whites of the eyes, resulting from high levels of bilirubin in the bloodstream. Bilirubin, a yellow pigment, is produced during the natural breakdown of red blood cells. Normally, the liver processes bilirubin and eliminates it through bile, which is eventually excreted in the stool. When this balance between bilirubin production and elimination is disrupted, jaundice occurs. This condition is not a disease itself but a visible sign of underlying medical conditions, ranging from benign causes like neonatal jaundice to serious conditions such as liver disease or bile duct obstruction. Types of jaundice Prehepatic jaundice Prehepatic jaundice occurs before bilirubin reaches the liver, typically due to increased destruction of red blood cells, hemolysis. When hemolysis happens faster than the liver's ability to process bilirubin, unconjugated bilirubin accumulates in the blood. Conditions like hemolytic anemia, sickle cell disease, or malaria are common culprits. Hepatic jaundice Hepatic jaundice arises from diseases or damage to the liver itself. This type of jaundice disrupts the liver's ability to process and excrete bilirubin. Common causes include viral hepatitis, alcoholic liver disease, cirrhosis, and drug-induced liver injury. Both unconjugated and conjugated bilirubin levels can be elevated. Post-hepatic, obstructive Jaundice Posthepatic jaundice occurs when bile flow is obstructed after leaving the liver, preventing bilirubin from being excreted into the intestines. Common causes include gallstones, bile duct strictures, and pancreatic tumors. This type of jaundice is often associated with dark urine, pale stools, and severe itching. Causes of jaundice Jaundice can be triggered by a variety of causes. Neonatal jaundice, this occurs in newborns due to an immature liver that cannot efficiently process bilirubin. It is common in the first week of life and usually resolves on its own. Severe cases, however, may require medical intervention to prevent complications like kern icterus. Liver diseases, Conditions like hepatitis, alcoholic liver disease, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease impair the liver's ability to handle bilirubin. Blood disorders, hemolytic anemia, sickle cell anemia, and thalassemia lead to excessive red blood cell destruction, overwhelming the liver's processing capacity. Biliary obstruction, blockages in the bile ducts such as from gallstones or tumors, hinder the excretion of bilirubin, leading to jaundice. Other causes, certain infections, e.g., malaria, medications, and autoimmune diseases can also lead to jaundice. Symptoms of jaundice The symptoms of jaundice can vary depending on the underlying cause. Yellow discoloration the hallmark sign of jaundice, visible on the skin, whites of the eyes, and mucous membranes. Dark urine, caused by the presence of conjugated bilirubin in the urine. Pale or clay-colored stools, indicates a lack of bilirubin in the digestive tract, often due to bile flow obstruction. Itching, pruritus a common symptom of obstructive jaundice caused by bile salt accumulation in the skin. Systemic symptoms, fatigue, abdominal pain, weight loss, fever, and nausea may accompany jaundice in specific conditions like hepatitis or cancer. How is jaundice diagnosed? Diagnosing jaundice involves a combination of clinical evaluation, laboratory tests, and imaging studies. Clinical examination 
a detailed medical history to identify risk factors like alcohol use or recent infections. Physical examination to check for signs like liver enlargement, tenderness, or fluid accumulation. Blood tests. Bilirubin levels, to distinguish between unconjugated and conjugated bilirubin. Liver function tests, elevated levels of ALT, AST, ALP, or GGT can pinpoint liver dysfunction. Complete blood count, detects anemia or infection. Imaging Ultrasound is often the first step to identify bile duct obstructions. Advanced imaging like CT or MRI provides detailed views of the liver and surrounding structures. Specialized procedures Liver biopsy to diagnose chronic liver diseases. ERCP for evaluating bile duct obstructions or performing interventions. Treatment of jaundice Treatment depends on addressing the underlying cause. Prehepatic jaundice Blood transfusions or medications for hemolytic conditions. Hepatic jaundice Antiviral therapy for hepatitis. Lifestyle modifications and medications for alcoholic or fatty liver disease. Post-hepatic jaundice Surgical removal of gallstones Stenting or bypass procedures for bile duct strictures Supportive care Medications like cholestyramine for itching Nutritional support to maintain liver health Jaundice in newborns Neonatal jaundice is common but requires careful monitoring Phototherapy Blue light therapy converts bilirubin into a form that can be easily excreted. Exchange transfusion, used in severe cases to remove excess bilirubin. Parental education, early identification of symptoms and ensuring proper feeding can prevent complications. Complications of untreated jaundice. Acute complications. Severe itching can lead to secondary infections. Acute liver failure may occur in severe cases. Chronic complications Liver cirrhosis and its complications like portal hypertension. Chronic kidney disease Neonatal risks Kernicterus, resulting in permanent neurological damage. Prevention of jaundice Preventive measures include Vaccinations for hepatitis Avoiding excessive alcohol consumption and maintaining a healthy diet Prompt treatment of gallstones and other liver or blood disorders Ensuring proper newborn care to prevent neonatal jaundice Living with jaundice Chronic liver diseases often require long-term management Adopting a liver-friendly diet. Avoiding alcohol and hepatotoxic drugs. Regular follow UPS with healthcare providers. Seeking support from counseling or support groups.